The Australian outback is home to some of the largest cattle stations. These stations can be extremely isolated such as this 1,544 square mile Supplejack Down Station in the Northern Territory. It is located about 13 hour drive away from the nearest major town hence regular monitoring and herding are difficult however innovative solutions such as robots and helicopters are improving it. Beef cattle is a big and lucrative industry in Australia with annual earnings of around $23 billion according to the latest report in 20 124 Australia's cattle herd size ranges from 25.7 million to 28.6 million head and farms in Queensland are raising 44.4% of the nation's total when it comes to gathering cattle for essential tasks like tagging and branding a big herd like this can be a challenge with traditional mastering methods on the ground helicopter mustering offers a solution providing a bird's eye view and great maneuverability before the helicopter tanks flight certified pilots on the ground team assess the terrain in order to develop an effective mastering strategy the helicopter takes to the skies scanning the vast landscape for the signs of cattle throughout the mustering process the pilot maintains constant communication with ground crew members via the two-way radio so that they can guide lone animals together effectively like this with a combination of noise and air currents the helicopters gently guide the herd towards the designated gathering point for a big cattle farm like this 400,000 acre station five to six helicopters are needed this must be done without causing stress or agitation to the cattle ground crew members are often mounted on horseback or riding motorcycles and they guide the herd towards the gathering point and block off potential escape routes once the crew is safely assembled the helicopter lands and the ground crew proceeds with the necessary tasks australian cattle farms also employ a variety of automated feed distribution systems each each tailored to the specific needs of the farm the large-scale farms feed pushers follow designated routes on a predetermined schedule propelling a mixture of feed towards the feeding troughs so it's closer to the cattle farmers can even control the automatic feeder to help to feed the rations with their phones their productivity ensures a constant supply of fresh feed catering to the appetites of thousands of cattle every year australia's cattle farms consume a staggering total of 13 million tons of feed the nation's beef production in 2023 increased by 11.3 percent to be one 156,000 The efficient distribution of feed has become paramount in smaller operations automated feeding systems are often used farmers pour feed into the big funnel when it's feeding time the machine will automatically pour the feed out. Just enough for the cattle to eat these cattle are gathering here because it's almost time for the feeder to go on its normal schedule this system is also effective with goats these systems also incorporate electronic identification tags to recognize individual and provide customized feed rations based on their unique nutritional requirements after feeding is the manure removal time this is to protect the cattle's health and living environment the traditional methods are overwhelmed by the annual 200 million of manure from the 880,000 cattle in big feed lots like more and co in grass stale that's why scraper systems are used here they consist of a long scraper blade attached to a chain that runs along the length of the pen the scraper is automatically activated at predetermined intervals typically every 15 to 30 minutes effectively pushing manure towards a collection pit in 2023 australia came up with the idea of transforming waste into valuable organic grain fertilizer the collected manure goes into the manure separator or a dedicated fertilizer production facility unlike cattle sheep and goats typically produce drier pet like droppings so it poses less of an immediate challenge for removal in extensive grazing systems where goats and sheep roam freely over vast pastures their droppings are dispersed evenly providing a source of nutrients for the vegetation australia boasts the world's third largest sheep population with an estimated 74.7 million head and holds the position at ion of the world's largest goat exporter in some cases farmers may introduce dung beetles to their pastures this speeds up decomposition and nutrient cycling further enhancing the soil health scientists are developing robot beetles for this important purpose besides the meat industry australia's dairy industry is also one of the most important in rural regions it is primarily concentrated along the southeastern coastline encompassing victoria new south wales and tasmania it directly employs around 33,500 workers however robotic milking systems have revolutionized the dairy industry offering a plethora of benefits over traditional milking methods these systems can be broadly categorized 
into two types multibook systems and rotary automatic milking systems or rams for short many goat farms have also adopted these milking systems to increase their daily production and hygiene as cattle approach the milking station they are enticed by feed readily available in front of them each cattle has an electronic identification tag typically a collar or anklet that enables the system to retrieve the cattle's data including milking history health status and production levels once in the store the paddle are gently secured in place by automated gates the milk Milking process starts with a laser-guided system that precisely locates the cattle's teats. Teats are then automatically disinfected and dried to ensure hygienic milk collection. Teacups are automatically attached and apply suction gently suckling the milk while the cows eat. This system meticulously monitors milk flow from each the adjusting the suction levels accordingly to optimize milk production. The entire milking process typically takes between 5 to 10 minutes for each cattle. Australia produces approximately 8.8 .8 billion liters of milk annually with exports valued at $3.3 billion from 2022 to 2023. Once complete the teacups are automatically detached and the gates open allowing the cattle to exit the milking station f the c the milk is then transported to automated and manual processing plants to become various value added products such as cheese and butter since 2017 australia has mandated the use of electronic identification tags for all sheep and goat farms transforming the way farmers monitor their animals and optimizing herd management this has been done for cattle since 2004 in a system called the national livestock identification this is the most common technology it's called radio frequency identification because as the reader stick approaches the tagged animal typically within a few cent the radio signal will send the animal's information on the screen the reader can be a machine like this and it will scan the tags attached attached on the ear of the sheep and update their data each sheep's records will be stored on the farm management software making breeding and health monitoring. Easy New South Wales reigns as the epicenter of goat farming witnessing an impressive growth in herd size from 2.4 in 2018 to 6.8 million animals in 2021. This growth has been accompanied by a remarkable surge in goat meat production exceeding 11,000 tons in 20,122 to support the thriving industry of goat meat. Australian goat farmers are increasingly embracing automated feed distribution systems transforming the way they provide nourishment to their herds over 90% of Australia and goat meat is explored ed primarily to China realizing the many benefits of this system according to statistics 67% of goat and sheep farms have adopted automatic feeding. Solutions The tranquility of Australian goat and sheep farms is often disrupted by the presence of predator statistics reveal that over 40% of sheep and goat mortalities are attributed to attacks by foxes, wild dogs, birds and feral pigs to deter this licensed Australian pilots and shooters often carry out aerial culling for these animals. Farmers also use traditional methods like hunting and trapping but recently they are increasingly turning to un and aerial vehicles commonly known as drones. They have a built-in camera allowing farmers to have a view of their their herd from afar some farmers use this to muster their sheep goats and cattle this tool can also help farmers pinpoint predator hotspots and then strategically deploy traps maximizing their hunting effectiveness in order to protect their animals from predators some drones can even emit barking sounds activate led lights and spray water to deter predators from approaching the herd hello my friends today we will visit livestock farms to find out what a day in the life of a livestock farmer is like music First we will go to cattle farms in America you know America is blessed with a lot of fertile land and a large area of farmland and livestock the government also creates conditions for the livestock industry to develop but we must admit that all of that success is largely thanks to the efforts of livestock farmers this is morning on a dairy farm in the southern United States at 5 a.m. The first thing farmers need to do is Milk in the morning dairy farmers use milking machines to milk cows two to three times per day. It only takes five to seven minutes for a cow to be milked. Some farms have applied robotic milking machine technology. You see these are safe, quick and stress-free ways to milk the cow on some small farms. With a small number of dairy cows farmers still keep the traditional milking method. Although it takes a lot of time they can save a lot of money around 700 a m is when farmers will feed their cows beef farmers often work with nutritionists to create a suitable diet their diets are usually made from hay grain protein vitamins and minerals they all combine into a giant mixer and are then fed to the 
cows for farmers who raise livestock in the grazing style they will regularly check the quality of grass on the pasture because they will directly affect the quality of meat and milk of cattle at this time the breeder will clean the barn stainless steel water troughs will help them a lot in the cleaning process cleaning other areas of the coop is usually quite quick the problem usually lies in the floors which need a thorough cleaning he collected all the poop off the floor then he used the cart to clean everything up all feces will be pushed into a bunker for processing when everything is cleaned up they will put dry grass on the floor again cows will feel comfortable with this new hay pad 9 o'clock a m is the time when dairy cows relax in the barn on large scale farms the cow bar is fully equipped with all the necessary equipment and the cows will spend all of their time living in the barn at this time farmers will periodically check the hay solo to ensure that there is still enough food for their cows typically an adult dairy cow will eat about 97 pounds of feed and drink 44 gallons of water per day with young calves farmers will sometimes provide them with warm milk to stimulate them to drink more around 3 p.m. is when the farmers spend time checking the barn and dairy herd farmers keep a close eye on their cows to make sure they are happy and healthy in addition veterinarians will also regularly visit and treat sick cows you are now watching the farmers do the evening milking this is about 5 p.m. all steps are similar to the morning the udders of the dairy cows need to be sterilized and cleaned before installing milk suction tubes the average dairy cow produces about 6 gallons of milk per day that's more than 2,275 gall. Per year dairy farmers work hard to ensure that all milk is safe and nutritious after processing quality milk will be packaged and brought to nearby supermarkets for sale like this from farms to supermarkets to your refrigerator milk is always kept absolutely hygienic to ensure quality finally around 8 p.m. The cows go to sleep and the farmer can finish his work and return home you see everything starts at 5 a.m. and ends around 8 p.m. Working hours will vary depending on the type of livestock and the farming model of the farm. If cattle are in the breeding season things will be more difficult but on average farmers spend about two-thirds of their day on farm work in the U.S. There are more than 233,000 poultry farms these are. Used for meat production about 9 billion broiler chickens and 238 million turkeys are consumed each year that means that farmers on farms have to work at full capacity to supply enough quantity for the market Texas farmers shared their regular work includes cleaning bars rooing facilities and monitoring chicken behavior to detect any signs of illness in addition the farm owner also needs to transport them to the chicken processing factory and add more chicks to maintain farm operations similar to raising cows poultry farmers must also work in conjunction with poultry poultry veterinarians to ensure the health of their flocks poultry farm owners in Nova Scotia Canada think this is very necessary they need to design suitable nutritional menus for poultry of different ages like many farming operations poultry farmers may have to work every day of the week including holidays they still ensure job completion in different weather conditions during the process of cleaning barns farmers can pick up pathogens in poultry waste such as salmonella or eolith with 47 years of experience working on sheep farms terry has established a flock of a thousand sheep at blenheim palace for him working on a sheep farm as a year-round job covering all weathers and tasks cleaning the coop adding hay and providing clean drinking water are all part of the daily shore most lamps are castrated ear tagged and tail docked before they are a week old imagine how difficult this job is when a flock of about a thousand years give birth and some will give birth to many lambs at once Terry's day ends around 11 p.m. or even 1 a.m. the next morning depending on the situation on the farm that is something admirable about livestock farmers they work hard and carefully every day in addition to all the daily and weekly livestock work farmers also have various seasonal tasks to perform these include deworming vaccinations and dealing with piles of paperwork sheep sharing and lambing season are the two busiest times of the year on sheep farms cattle farming is a complex industry that requires careful planning attention to detail and hard work farmers must ensure that their livestock is healthy and well fed that means they will need to know about proper nutrition from hay sources to plan grazing farmers who work for the farm owner are usually paid an hourly wage their salary can vary depending on experience and the size of the herd they're caring for livestock farms to develop more farmers need to update new development trends such as using technology ensuring supply and improving animal welfare monitoring the market and updating trends can help farmers to learn more about appropriate skills and maintain a competitive advantage